As 2023 draws to a close, renowned biochemist and agripreneur and professor of bioresearch, Professor Julius Nyanzi, has tipped Ugandans on a new enterprising venture for the year 2024. With the slogan, Money Grows on Trees, Professor Nyanzi has laid strategies that will create jobs for the 75% youth population. Starting a business in Uganda has become a problem for Ugandans as copying, duplication and opting for non-paying ventures enters the business world. But Prof. by Research in Kampala has opened the roadway into entrepreneurship, offering ideas, raw materials, products and market for anybody willing to start a business. <laughs> You keep on turning the seats. Those are the side games. Prof. by Research Chief Executive Professor Julius Nyanzi wants government to have a policy that will guide youth to create jobs. The biggest challenge is among the youth. Most youth think that uh, going into value chain in the line of plants means that you're a traditional person, you're conservative, or you fail. But that kind of thinking has to change as uh, it has been exhibited by Prof. By Research. Prof. By Research has already attracted former government officials to start business who say government needs to refocus the parish development mode of funding. According to my observation and what I have gone through, it is one of the best programs. And I feel that if government took this program and gave it to the PDM program, we would have been very successful. Because in the first place, the things are, are made here, they are marketable here. Some of them are things that we can consume within ourselves. Best, and we should support it, and more people should have more training on it. That machine makes wondrous soap. Yes, sir. And you call square soap. Square. Professor Nyanzi trains Ugandans and orients them to start businesses. And he says money grows on trees. The old who have been lacking business ideas say the space for business is open. This training encourages one to start a business from available resources. Abiona Francisco, UBC News.